he's got to have it, the show that tracks down the coolest gadgets on Earth. I'm competing against him to find the one object that will make our guest life complete. And at the end of the show, they choose which one they like best and get a chance to win it. Welcome back to He's Gotta Have It. Now, one of the clues I've got to go on is our fella does travel a bit. So whether he's in the Far East or he's showing off in the sea in Sydney, or he just needs help with his brushstroke, then this could be the perfect gadget for him. Sea scooters are the in thing for scuba divers or just lazy swimmers. The shark is battery powered and can provide over an hour's swimming propulsion on a single charge. At only five kilograms in weight, it's lighter by far than its competitors and it can pull a swimmer through the water at up to two miles an hour, which is tested to be the safest speed for snorkeling. Now, Rob, you represent Sea Do mm -hmm. and you had something to do with the design of this. You're a part of the design team? Yeah, that's right. Why? I mean, number one, I think it's fantastic, but mm -hmm. why did you come up with something like this? Well, the uh, chief of the company saw um, more expensive versions of it, and he went back to the um, head designer and said, right, we've got this product called the Zeta, which is a very efficient motor. I reckon we could apply it to um, a sea scooter and bring out a much cheaper and more efficient version of it that could probably sell a lot more. So the next step was to go to Kosh Designs in Southampton, who do propellers and a lot of bodies for submarines for the Royal Navy. They drew up the schematics for the propeller and the nozzle, which is the main bit of the body, and made the original prototype from it, and married it up with a very efficient battery, and this is what they've ended up with. So just what's inside it then? Well, there's a rare earth motor, which is basically a, a magnet that drives the whole thing, which spins at 12,500 RPM. Then there's a quite a sophisticated gearbox which is connected to that, which slows the propeller down to 380 RPM, um, which is not only safer, it uh, also stops the motor from getting overheated. Sea scooters seem pretty esoteric, but actually there are quite a few around. So how does the Shark compare on the He's Gotta Have It rating? The Scuba Pro Sea Glider is faster, but only runs for 40 minutes on one charge, and we gave it 5 out of 10 for function. Its heavy black casing we gave 6 out of 10 for design, and at around 800 quid, it's 5 out of 10 for value, giving it a total of 16 out of 30. The Zap Dolphin Sea Scooter is faster than the Scuba Pro and gets 7 for function. For design, it's another 7, and at nearly 600 pounds, it's 5 for value, a total of 19 out of 30. The shark does what it says on the tin, so it gets eight for function. It's funky shape and colour and dead man's handle, which deserves seven for design. And at around £330, it's eight for value, giving it a total of 23 out of 30. Don't forget, if you want to win some of the gadgets shown in this series, then press the red button on your digital satellite remote control now.